I have your book because I'm reading it right now. Ah! Yeah, had their first kiss. Okay, slay. <laughs> <laughs> slay. Defend herself and survive. So that it was totally my jam. Also, what it looked like on set when you were fighting the dragon. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, the sword fighting was. It. I thought it was going to be more challenging than it mm. actually was. Like mm. I. I thought. Because I, I do have, I don't know if I have good hand-eye coordination. Like, <laughs> I, I don't dance very, you know, I, I don't dance very well. And so for me, I'm always like, oh, I don't know if I'm able to tennis, you know? I'm like, okay. You know, so I kind of right. was putting myself down for quite a while until they gave me the sword. And I was like, you were cool. And fit. they were like, okay, <laughs> warrior. And uh, yeah, I actually found it a lot easier than I thought it would. Awesome, yeah. And um, and then the dragon, I mean, the dragon was a tennis ball. It was like <laughs> it was like this pole, but with a tennis ball on it. Wow. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. Wow. Um, it looked, yeah. it looked phenomenal on set, honestly. I know. Yeah, yeah in, the, in the film, it looked phenomenal. Yes. Right. Which I absolutely love. Enola and Eleven were to all sit down and have tea together. Do you think all of them would get along? question. I think Eleven would love everyone. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really not like people. I think so too. So I think she would really get along with mm -hmm. Enola and Elodie. I think Elodie <laughs> would find Enola very annoying. Oh, interesting. And I actually think Enola would find Elodie very obnoxious. <laughs> so I don't think they would get along. <laughs> I'm starting a rival between my characters. I know you're starting a rival between all of your all of your know, Netflix characters. I, I love I'm have it. To go to therapy. <laughs> I love it. Well, I have to say one of my What are some of your favorite TV couples in pop culture now or even when you were growing up? Oh my goodness, such a good question. So, I think Bella Swan. Oh. I mean, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely one of my faves. Vampire Diaries. Oh, yes. Damon. Me too. Yes, Damon and Elena Me all too. the way. Um, I, I, yeah, I have like a really big, you know what else? Normal people. I mean, like, okay, yes, like we get it. Like Vampire Diaries, amazing. But like something about normal people, it was just like, oh my God, it just felt like you were watching real people. It's Paul amazing. and Daisy are incredible yes, in that. Yes, amazing. I want more, but I know it was a mini series. Oh, you know what else? What? Uh, Daisy Jones. Good! I was just like, I, I mean, my, my fiance was like, what is wrong with you? And I'm just like sobbing and <gasps> looking into my phone. So good. What was the most challenging part for you about creating the novel? And then in the Audible, I've been listening to it as well, and you're doing both an American accent and British. I thought that was incredible. Did, were, is that something that you had always planned to do when you were writing the novel? Did do it that way? No, well, so the most challenging part about writing the novel was staying true and authentic to the story. Um, of course, like these are my grandmother's story, so mm -hmm. I feel, you know, I feel like there's an um, immense amount of pressure to to deliver right. what she went through um, properly. And then the, the audible, <laughs> no, it actually happened on the day. I just, we, we were reading, reading, reading until, you know, the American accent had to come up and we were just like, what do we do? And I was like, maybe I'll just do an American accent. And they were all like, what? And I was like, maybe I'll just do an American accent. Oh and then I just did it. Oh my God, I love yeah. it. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, it sounds, yeah. It, it works though. It, it, it does does work. Yeah. I'm down for you to write another romance novel. I'll You're be... loving to learn this about you. Absolutely, <laughs> well, absolutely. Con congratulations to you on Damsel. I'm so excited for audiences to see it. But She'll, she's gonna be like the Game of Thrones, like <gasps> coffee cup somewhere, you know? You'll see her in the movie. Oh just my God, <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Millie, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, so good to, good to see you. Good to see you. Sam Rockwell on your yeah. way up. You know, the cash. Do you guys go with so. It's hard to kind of keep track in Hollywood, yeah. right? Because you meet a lot of people at these shows. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, how are so you? So nice to see good you. Good to see you too, you look amazing. Thank you, so do you. Thanks. Oh, I love the tennis shoes oh, that are yeah, Converse. You know, gotta, keep it, gotta keep it styled. Millie Bobby Brown celebrate. Uh, probably go back to my hotel room. Okay. <laughs> and eat pizza and watch a movie with my family. <laughs> that sounds brilliant. Right? These Do you think you'll be dancing maybe before or after dance. the pizza? I'm losing or winning, you always dance yeah. at, the, at the cycle. Well, and you love it, a new BFF. Let's take a look. 
Costco and I was like, just want to say hi. And he was like, oh my God. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You got to admit, that's pretty cool. You have become so successful. So many people now know your face. They know your name. And you start, she's six. I, I go and play Barbie dolls with her. It's like the most fun. All that. Or like go and, yeah, go and play in the garden with my dog. Like I know it sounds that, but it's, it's that simple. <laughs> um, a, a couple people, um, who are some of them? I mean, mo when I was like, I'd say like 10, it was Maddie, Maddie Ziegler, who is my best friend now, but she inspired me. I was like, I, if she can do it, I feel like I can do it. And I always just wanted to be best friends, but mostly Audrey Hepburn, Angelina Jolie, uh, Jodie Foster. That's my top three. Excellent. Well, at the start of the season, we find her um, in, in without her powers, but the storyline this season really goes for Elle revisiting traumatizing experiences um, and also gaining this autonomy from the men in her life. Uh, finding is that growing up, it's that independent fleeing from the nest, um, you know, but in order for her to do that, she does have to revisit some. Thriller that is very intriguing. There's some cool, a really cool cast. I have a child on my arm, but <laughs> you know, it's very intrigued by her characters. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's weird, but wow. nice. Um, well, that shows a lot of commitment for anyone, but especially for a young woman in show business, you have to do that when you... I first found out, yeah, I was like, okay, that's negotiable, you know, we can negotiate <laughs> some things. And then I was like, no, no. It was one day where we was all in school and, um, you know, Caleb, and I go in and it just all goes off. And then I come into lunch. But it's talking about like... Boys didn't actually recognise me. <laughs> Free kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's the next toy? They said it was oh my God. God. <laughs> Can I help? Oh. you. <laughs> Tom Cruise. And now I'm not going to FaceTime him. And that's the two. <laughs> or, yes, and say that shit with your chest, and that one. I don't really spend money on clothes. I don't really want to buy anything. I just like fluffy socks. What word your friends would use to describe you? Beautiful. Loyal. Great. Best beauty advice. Everything you put onto your skin goes into your bloodstream. <laughs> this ain't Texas. Woo! And I'll hold him. Hey! Slow down. <laughs> down, 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 down. I popped two. I'm not gonna tell you. Cause I'm not dreaming it baby, it's happening. Do you have any secret talents? I'm gonna wiggle my ears. Oh, fuck, I got to... Am I doing it? Oh, boring. Next. What should every woman try at least once in her life? Slay. Go to late night snack. Cocoa Krispies lactate milk. The confetti is it's a joke. President Obama. That he watched my show and he liked it and that he liked my dancing at the Emmys. What's one message you'd give your younger self? Go to therapy. In the break, not the only 11 in the house tonight, Trey Young, but we have 11 from Stranger Things, all of you at home. Guys, I won't lie, I am fangirling right now, getting to say hello to Millie Bobby Brown, who is taking in your first game here in Atlanta as you continue to film, but girl, you've seen some windmill dunks right in front of you. You have guys almost landing in your lap here. What have you thought about this experience so far? This is amazing. It's my first basketball game ever, so I'm really excited to be here, especially in Atlanta. This is my hometown, so I'm really grateful. You're Lose here tonight. Here she is. And no autographs, Kelly Crawl. excited. I had this job. You're I was so cool. I would never keep it chill. The people I get to meet, that is so... Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's so young. Yeah, yeah, to me it's not. Yeah, it definitely feels... It feels like I've been... It feels like career-wise, I feel like I'm 30. Yeah. But like, I know... Okay. I love yours. Oh, like, well, I feel like very excited to be 20. It's yeah. like a, a new era, as a Taylor Swift would say. Yeah. I am like hardcore Swift. Like, I know exactly where she is at all times. Taylor, I... I went to the Eras tour and just yeah, it was yeah, it was the most amazing experience. Like the the, the fans there are just so they're the same as me. We love her that much, and you know how she does like a surprise board, me and my sister, and we like cross out the songs that she's done so that we know what she's gonna do next. Yeah. So when when I went to my show, I went to Ohio. I flew there 
solely for Taylor. Yeah. And she played Evermore and I collapsed to the ground. It was pretty crazy, but it was, yeah, an amazing. Oh, no, I, if anyone does call me MBB, I would most definitely not respond and just immediately <laughs> and tell them to call me Mills. She is now created her own detective agency. Um, it's not going very well because many people aren't trusting her because of her age and her gender. So she has to really prove herself this time. And just as she thinks her, you know, her, she has to cut her losses. Um, this young girl comes in and takes her on a wild adventure. Actually, I think the first film, you know, I got, I got obviously an incredible opportunity to be a producer on this. And I really felt like I really wanted to prove myself and prove that I was capable of doing such a thing, um, despite my gender or age. And, you know, that's probably the moment. I think it can be done for sure. Um, but I also think it's a systematic thing. I think that it's programmed within people to feel as though women or young women aren't capable of doing something, even if that's opening their own doors or holding an umbrella. I think it's systematic things it's programmed in us. I think it happens every day, not just to do with my industry, but just in day-to-day -day life. And I think it's just slowly breaking those stereotypes and standards so that, you know, we are looked at as an equal. Well, I mean, it's, you know, he's, uh, he's an animal lover and so am I. So both of our dogs mean the world to us. And, um, I think we, we definitely have a, a common denominator there, but, um, overall, I, I really am lucky to work alongside him. He's an amazing actor and I've been very, very lucky and grateful. No, she, oh my gosh, that's despite her being my whole world. No, she goes to a very luxurious day spa that she goes and gets her, her, her grooming. Um, but I miss her terribly. I mean, I, I'm like one of those people that looks at pictures of them, like, I mean, I don't <laughs> stop talking about my dogs and I have, se I have six dogs. Um, and I, and I like, but my, my baby, Winnie the Pooh, she goes everywhere with me. She's my set dog. And then I have my great Dane and yada, yada, but they don't come with me because they're bigger. And, but they do fly overseas with me because I, I, I can't live without them for too long. Uh, no, <laughs> no, Cal, um, Cal is amazing. I mean, he is so well trained and he is really, really a great dog. It's my dog, Winnie. It's a smaller dog. Smaller dogs can be like just really temperamental. Smaller dogs, they ha they're so highly, they're so high strung. They're they're so high maintenance, and that's yes. what Winnie the just like her mother. Brown, and these are my essentials. Could keep going. You want me to keep going? I know that because she's giving child. She knows like when I'm fake crying and when I'm real crying. She knows when I'm working and not to bark. I have Barbie Max Marley. I have Agnes, Jimmy, Tootsie, Scarlet, Elle Grey, and that's all the dogs in my and animals in my house. She rules all over them. Like all of them listen to her power. I love carrots. Don't even need them with a good dipping sauce. I'll just eat straight up carrots. Relating me to Wallace and Gromit. So I'm not gonna, baby carrots are my favorite and these look so good. They're always delicious, crunchy, sweet. If I keep eating them, it goes away. Carrots are too watery. They're on right now. I wear these on the plane because my tootsies always get cold on planes. Like when I'm meant to put on my character's socks, I never do. I put these on instead and they never notice. My nan said, if your feet are cold, your kidneys are cold. She had a whole kidney thing, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. I hate wireless headphones. You know, I've lost like four pairs. I just cannot keep tabs. They're wired. Also, when I'm on set and I have to do a crying scene, I have to listen to sad music. This, and also if I'm at like, a, you know, a party and there's bad music. What do you listen to to make yourself cry? When it's cold, I'd like to die by Moby. And it is very depressing, but it always makes me cry. I'm gonna be a relatable queen right now. I can't see. Negative 1.75 on my right, but if I'm doing a crying scene, one day it just fell out of my eyes. So I was like, okay, so I have to take them out when I have to do a crying scene, and then I have to always carry an extra pair to put back. Okay, so kombucha, your girl has had many antibiotics in her life. So this is really good for your gut. It helps. I do like berry lemonade if you were to get me it. Immune system help, and um, they do expire. So check your date. And when it's kombucha time, I used to do apple cider vinegar in the morning. Like this smells like apple cider vinegar, but it just tastes so freaking good. My godfather, Matthew Modine, has a shot of apple cider vinegar every day. And I'm just like, I can't get on board with that. That's not a cool looking bottle. Sustainable. Work with my dogs or go to work in general. 
These are my go-to to keep my hair back. But these were really exciting because we had a hair care um, collection where we did hair masks, claw clips, and a comb, and a detangler spray, and I love taking care of it. And so these are really cool. Okay, bougie, let's go. And then this is the travel side. There's no difference in the scent. One you can take on a plane, one you can't. One you can literally drink. I'm just kidding, don't just like live with forever and ever and ever, and it's the best. It's nice to just have one in my bag at all times. If I'm about to do an event or just I'm at home or going to work. Essential will always be my essential, and that's on period. This is our tinted Gloria lip oil, and this is our regular tinted lip oil. And then this is our regular one, and I love this one. It's just like a beautiful glaze on your lips. And I always carry this, especially when I'm traveling, because my lips get so dry when I travel or when I'm in cold you know, places. So this is always my essential. Thank you for checking out my essentials. I really appreciate it, and much love. See you next time. They say I love you. They put this wrap to dry the gel. Benji, this is just color from sunscreen. We take this wrap pad to apply the wig. It's a kiss. I know. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> Millie, the yeah. Millie, it was your first kiss. Is that right? Yep. It was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it was no, great. No. I'm not saying, I'm just, yeah. No, of course it was yeah, no, great. It yeah, it was great. When I it was fun. We went through two packets. Well, Finn went through okay, two listen. packets of I went, I went up to Millie before the ticket. I was like, hey, Millie. I had two boxes of Tic Tacs. I was like, catch. I was like, like thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go through yeah. two, two packets of Tic Tacs. So yeah. we did. It was awesome. But it was, we, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Finn, he didn't have to do that many <laughs> takes. Just the Tic Tacs. Yeah. So yeah. we went through Tic Tacs. Well, yeah. well, we Why have not? to have fresh breath. Yeah, exactly. Here, yeah, but exactly. But, but were you the nervous? Brothers didn't was, help. They didn't help. Cause they why? Didn't <laughs> we, we watched it, and we reaction to it was really funny. Yeah, I got up, and then I said, "Kissing sucks," and then yeah. Finn was like, "Finn was like, oh my god, that wasn't too bad." <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, oh, awful. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> getting the biggest piece and less badass. Sometimes vulnerable, but mostly it's badass. Her 11 fighting skills. So let's do it. Go. <laughs> I never really watched season one. I, I didn't really have time. Now we're able to kind of relish in it more and really enjoy the show. Did not think this would be big at all. Oh, it's gonna go up and it's gonna go down. <laughs> like, you know, I didn't know. And then I was, I'm 10, so immediately I'm, you know, that's really all that I was thinking. They're like, she's our friend and she's crazy. Oh, the energy he brought, it was just like magnetic in the screen. Oh, the void, the most depressing place ever. I'm in water, my feet are pruney, I'm hungry. It's, girl, she needs braces. You see those teeth? I opened it. I remember being like, I have lines today. Like, this is so fun. I remember I was studying Mesopotamia and the Fertile Crescent. But yeah, I remember having to go back into school and doing like four hours of school in between these like really emotional scenes. So we had two jobs. You know, it's just like very, very cute, the friendship. This was exceptionally cold water. <laughs> Camera was below, which was really exciting. And I watched playback every single time to see. It was the first ever water scene I've ever done like that. It was really cool. Fun fact, I didn't know my lines. I was, <laughs> I never come into set knowing my lines. I learned them on the day. So, so for this scene, I am, I I purposefully didn't know my lines so that whatever came out was really stuttery, you know, and cluttered and scared. I love that line, that made me so, but it's also so hard to get it all out before he's about to dunk you in water. So this part of the scene, I practiced so much and learned all of the skills so that on the day when I got there, I was able to just do a dance routine. Helena. She is so hilarious. I was using real force with her, and one take I just pushed her over. She is one of the most talented, down to earth, and funny actors I've ever worked with. And just like her energy, I love this part. This part's my favorite. Provoke him, you know, poke at him, make him fight you more. And I was like, how do I do that? And so this is what I do. I actually love that her reactions are like, whoa, that worked. Like that worked, that actually landed and he's hot, yay. <laughs> this is a scene right before she gets thrown into the cave. <laughs> why they're doing, but she is very scared, but she's also, and she's starting to trust him. Hold me and nine layers of dress. Seriously, I was wearing everything that you see me dress up in in the film, I am actually wearing. Working with Robin was unbelievable to be able to work with such a 
seasoned actor. It was a dream come true. And she brought a certain energy that she made me bring more every single day. I feel very gravitated towards strong female lead. I have a say in where the plot story casting go. I kind of live also my female producer lead role. I was never thrown. So I like basically just couldn't breathe. And I was just like, and I had to mime because I had lost my voice. So I had to mime my scream and then an ADR just. What even is that look? The fans blowing in my face and I was like, I can't see it. <laughs> okay, carry on. I actually spent the whole episode on the phone where I have to put a straw in her throat, the whole thing. It's so exciting. I obviously didn't really do it. She was about to take off with those Dumbo ears. <laughs> It's like going to a, an acting school. I, I remember watching it back like with my whole family when it went on TV and we were all freaking out and my dad was like, you are amazing. And my mom was like, this is amazing. And I... Ghidorah! Ghidorah! What was so cool is that the set wasn't actually moving. It's the cameras moving. All of it's real fire, you know, all of it's all of it around me, the debris, everything is around me. This was also instinctual, not scripted. Director kept it the day I filmed this. So it was very positive, lovely, really light day emotionally. Well, me, but I actually throw him into the rift. So actually 11. This was a young girl who played me. She looked actually very much like me. She also shaved her hair off. How she would move because I remember that. And I remember exactly how that was and then basically her face to look she could feel like somebody was she was acting against right because she's also having to look at a green tennis ball use her her face um her her body stance her strength i needed to feel like she was straining we need to channel our inner dragon so i went to uh, an audition for Auto family with and i was like i'm not gonna get it and i got it and i walked out my dad was like really i was like yeah I think so. But I was very good at my American accent back then. I was just like fluid because I lived here for so long. But um, that was a very fun. My whole childhood was captured and I'm able to look back on it. And also being able to have young girls be able to look at that and be like, okay, this is where she started. This is where she is. And like, this is the journey in between. And I, I'm proud of myself, you know, for being confident and for being, putting myself out there. Oh, so we're about to dive, dive in. in. I would choose. Okay, I would choose Charlie as my my big brother and the whole Winona cast. Ryder. But if, if I could work, Bruce with Willis, it, Leonardo DiCaprio, when I walk onto set, preferably. It's <laughs> lanky. Lank. First of all, <laughs> I would say mm, she's the queen mama. She is the queen mama. She Super is powers. a freak. I've stolen stuff from other production. I think that that's I feel like not that's a good cool. ending. If you want to see some real ass, baby, here's your chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it low and swing. Texas up in this thing, put you up on this game. I be part of my friend, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype. Write my name in ice. I can't argue with these lazy bitches. I just raise my price. I'm a boss. I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. Nigga got this shit from Tina. I'm a savage. Yeah. The damsel trailer is out. that is real. It was a wine vineyard in Portugal. To look on that while you're doing a scene, it's like... It's See, I faced many phobias in this film, one being claustrophobia. This is actually a really cool, I feel like, foreshadowing scene. Angela brings such a sense of energy. I think I've never really seen a film anything quite like this before. It's just like a fairy tale gone wrong. Yes, they cut me. No. This is kind of the bonding of 
I'm royal blood. When my fiance Jake watches this scene, he goes, oh, and then they put fake blood over it. I mean, it's so cool. I was actually in a harness laying on like a plank. They just put me up and down. It was full. It was so cinematic to be in there. And when you have a director that's like JC, who's just like, Try and get out. What I'm envisioning right now are burning sparrows. That's what he would say to me. That's scary. And I'm like, well, on the day, it was a man in a green suit. It could easily make you laugh. I loved it so, so, so much. No, I didn't really cut my hair, but it was why I did cut my hair. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's my movie. You damsel, watch it. When I was young, I stole gum from a store and I cried for three days after. <laughs> I, I had to, I've never seen a waistband like this. I know. And um, Florence. I sneak my pet bunny into hotels. Like obsessed with animals. All right. Like she, um, why you have to sneak it in? I because understand. usually you, they let in dogs and cats, but probably not a, a rabbit. They, if he does something, right? It's like, ooh, do I really want to do that? No. <laughs> Filming in the city. No, this is, she's so, I, I. It's the truth. No! An issue, like the guy. Did they find it? They did. I went into the elevator and I would put him under my, my sweater. And if they asked, I'm breastfeeding my child. How would you? <laughs> um, he buzzes when he gets really happy and he was buzzing under my shirt. And then his oh. ear came out of my shirt and the guy looks. And on my door for like five days. <laughs> <laughs> for you. For me? <laughs> You get a hold of Shawn Mendes. I, I thought you had to follow each other no. to DM. No, you didn't. Yeah. What did he say? Yeah, what did, what did, uh... I don't need safety pins. It's like I'm effortlessly a fashion designer. Just, it's... That's cute. That would be cute, right? Do you want some? No? This is Seth the Sloth. Paige the Panda. Meet Winnie the Pooh. She's newly single. New York. You do, you do look like a New, New Yorker, don't you? Why do you go? Oh, why do you go? Oh my God, you're so trendy. You're so trendy, Winnie. I'm gonna do one just right here. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? <gasps> Beverly Hills, well kept lawn. You know what I mean? Just like, okay. And we're just gonna... Christmas tree vibes. Okay, we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna change it up. It's gonna be a Christmas tree. But I'm just gonna... God, imagine that could never do this job. Perfect. I just kind of wanna do that for right now. Oh! Oh ho ho! So, first of all, in order to get this look, okay, I want a hug. It's fine. Then you just start to slowly craft, craft. Ooh. And you just have to do that. We're gonna do a little Y2K moment, put some flowers on. This maybe red moment. I think this is stunning. Work. <laughs> Grilled cheese. So they like to call this cotton candy, even though, but really, cotton candy makes more sense than candy floss. Can't, you can't, can't floss with it, can ya? What is that? Courgette. I want to say it, but I could be wrong. See, I always thought zucchini was pasta. <laughs> Next dish. I always get confused with this. They'd call it a cookie, wouldn't they? But a scone, actually, I'm gonna have to agree with the Americans on this one. Then I have to say fish and chips, but I'm not gonna say fish and french fries. <laughs> True or false? One, two, four, or 12? Yeah, I said two. Okay, what is the name for a male goose? Gooseman, <laughs> Gary, Gander, and Bull. Yes! Okay, next. What is the red flap of skin under a turkey's beak called? A, wattle, B, crown, 
C. Doodad. Crown? I like Doodad. Millie Bobby Brown, Hello. how's it going? I just released my first novel and my first ever fragrance. You're very interesting. <laughs> All right. No. I write books. So my book is about my nat. Have you ever heard of World War II? So I'm 19. What do you think you want to be when you're 19? Movie star. How old are you? You're seven. So when I was seven, I was I was just like you. I, I wanted to be a movie star and I was always smiling and giggling. She's having the best time. What's your books about? What is destiny? What are you born to do? <laughs> to be happy? Like. <laughs> what makes me a good 19 year old? Then no, I I couldn't sleep when I was little, so I would be in bed and my nan would tickle my arm and tell me stories about her childhood. Do you know anything about your grandma's childhood? Oh! <laughs> you're gonna have kids. You don't want kids. Come here first. I and then consider kids. <laughs> um. Are you saying I'm old? <laughs> she lives today. She's 105. Listen to me. <laughs> she is. She's in England. Me. You are. I do. I instantly feel happy. So my, I'm from London. Where I come from, I talk quite posh. But where my nan come from, she talks like, she talks like she she needs a bottle of water, and she does. You don't really know what she's saying. <laughs> Goes weird. I did. I did. Can you smell it and tell me if you like it? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think it's gonna be like? You are so sweet that you like to pretend with your grandmother. What do you pretend to be? You're usually the daughter. The oldest daughter. Got it, got it, got it. It was Nanny, Nanny Millie. It was such a pleasure meeting you. You are so interesting. Keep being interesting. Oops. Yeah. You can't just say that casually. That's awesome. I'm, I, I work. I'm having lots of fun still. Oh, like you gotta, you know, now be an adult and all of that. But actually I like, I wanna be around my parents a lot more. Keep giving your parents hugs because the second you turn 18, you're gonna want them even more. You're, you I think you're a very smart person. You're gonna be an amazing author because if your motive is to inspire others, you're gonna do you're gonna do a lot of great things in the world. Thank you. You're welcome. I do like my career. Are you excited about your career? Not yet. Now you're gonna go see your grandma. You gotta ask her lots of questions about her history. And so that when you eventually, if you might have kids, you get to tell them all about it. Awesome. And you've got all these fans that have, you know, that have come to. I think that's what helps is that I think that uh, I just kind of take one day at a time and I appreciate everyone, you know, um, every fan that watches the show and relates to Eleven, it means so much to me. and. Uh, and I love stories and and how they kind of feel inspired by Eleven or her shaved head and it's it's really uh, it's a, it's I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. You let in and mm -hmm. we've let them in now. It's okay. Everything's fine. Okay. But how, how, how what's the strange? Besides this one, what's here, the strange? <laughs> <laughs> what I really I've definitely had some you know strange encounters. Um, you know, I think what's so funny about Stranger Things is that it definitely uh, draws in some some very interesting people um, from all different ages. You know, you have I, I had a 60-year-old couple that came up to me the other day, and then I have a 12-year-old, you know, teenage girl that's just like, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. So like, you get so many different people. But I think that's what's great about it is that um, Eleven. Well, Stranger Things is an 80s show, so. You know, you get the olden days for you, really. You were <laughs> born really in 2004. Because you weren't yeah. even really born then. Because no. What? Yeah, no, I, I watched Disney Channel for a really long time. I feel like an American accent's really easy to, to you know, I can, I, I can, no, I'm not even going to I would never do that. I couldn't do it. Because you can't do it in people's, like, you can't do it here. I mean, like, when I do an Australia, I apologize. I'm like, I'm sorry. Go so on. I'm, it's, go on, so go hey, mate, go on. And, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. No, I, I love it here. It's beautiful. How, are we going? How a real sort of fashion icon as well on the cover of Vogue magazine. And did you ever mm -hmm. experience? Mm -hmm. When I was oh, with adults, and yeah. you were just fine <laughs> from being in the business, or no? I've always been like really out there and 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 different. Um, but I think that. When I'm around my friends, I'm like really childish and ridiculous and immature. And then like when I'm around people, you know, I think that my job is like I'm, I, I want to 
inspire girls to be mm. Haitian, and that's just a big thing for me. So, mm. and um, that's what's so wonderful, I think, about oh, that way. Thank you. Yes, I am. You had a kiss on Stranger Things. <laughs> was that your first? Yes, it was. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was my first kiss. It was. Oh. It was. It was. It was. Did you like it? <laughs> oh, look at <how> so <laughs> Did you like it, though? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and, uh, Finn is, is, is one. I don't want to kiss a stranger, so kissing Finn was easy. Mm. Sounds so weird to say. <laughs> um, no, Finn's a, he's a great guy, and uh, kissing him was easy. I, I, I don't know if you guys have seen second season, but we kissed again, <gasps> and... Whoa. You have, right? Have you seen it? Oh, God. oh my God, I hate spoiling things. No, um, and then we kiss again <laughs> whilst dancing. And uh, it was, you know, romantic oh. and all that. So. Is it? Is it? I mean, I mean, everyone, I suppose, film it, but in the public eye, and have those moments that, for most of, how do you deal with it? No, not really. Oh, okay, um, then, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that obviously I have my life that's constantly watched, which is totally fine because I'm used to it. I mean, mm. I, I I go to restaurants and people recognise me, but I think the way I think is like if Leonardo DiCaprio or Meryl Streep or you know. Anyone, Miley Cyrus, or like, you know, somebody like that's in a restaurant, I'm not gonna just sit there and watch them eat. No, I'm gonna go over to them and ask them for a selfie, right? So I need for pictures. I understand that they love the show and, mm. and I can't say no. Um, so I, I kind of have to, I, I, I was in that position once. I remember like, I went up to like Jason Derulo and was like, I love you so much. <laughs> as well, don't yeah. you? In Brisbane, I, I don't. I, I thought I was in Adelaide for a second. Um, no, I was. I went to his show, and then last night I went to a show here. Um, but he's great. We went out to dinner the other night. He's a lovely person. Oh, How do you rap? No. Oh, <laughs> no. I think. How do you get on though? No, I'm deaf in one ear, so like partially deaf. So basically, as a young age, I've always had bad ears and never really like. Hear, hear anyone, um, but filming Stranger Things was hard because I would have to have like ADs or PAs near me to say action because they'd have to say it really loud or like make a all of them. First, yeah. yeah, all the big one for, that we all had to watch. But I feel like season <laughs> two we had to watch different movies, and season one we had to watch really like we had to really learn. And I didn't know what a record player was. Oh my um, god! And yeah. then I got one for Christmas. Oh, oh no phone. Yeah. No, that is. Mm -hmm. But you're you know amazing. What's, what's really? Yes. Um, yes. What's the question? Oh, I mean, I get. Um, hmm. Well, there's there's many. Uh, how did you like the kiss with Finn? <laughs> That's probably one of the most popular. And did you really like Egos? That's like, oh, that I always get asked that. Oh. And I'm like, really? Like, do you really think that I just sat there and like devoured them? No. <laughs> like, I sat there and I definitely mm. threw up a little bit. And what about good you? Friends? One of my best friends. Yep, we're very. The first, so we had a sleepover together, uh, like, uh, I don't know, like eight months that she wears in all her music videos. And I was dancing to see her songs. And it was like the worst. I was the worst. I'm the worst dancer. And she was like sitting there. She was like, What are you doing? It was worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> You're a really good dancer. Well, my dad was, but my mum, she was like, You've been growing this for 11 years. How could you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely, it's very empowering, actually. Yeah. It's, it's mm. amazing. Mm. Mm. Well, listen, it's. Watch it. It is amazing. Yes. Millie Bobby Brown, you are divine. I don't know Isn't whether she? I want to adopt you or <laughs> hug you. <laughs> with you. <laughs> <Rat>. <laughs> <laughs>